I thought I will show you around my craft room. Well, I kind of share this room with my cat, so it's sort of like a craft room and a cat room. So I've been sorting this room out for the last week. So I had shelves all across here um, and I've just changed all that up this week and got loads of these drawers so everything's organised and I can access things a lot easier which is really, you know, just saves a lot of time. Um, so I'll start off here. I've got like I said, I'm still sorting out this room, so it's not 100% done. But these are all of my jars um, for my terrariums and pots. Um, yeah, literally just all jars. Baubles and things I can fill. Bowls, big Christmas ornaments I can fill. And just some more pots around there. Um, this I haven't sorted out yet, but all of this is sort of like scrapbooking things. Um, here's just sort of random, I've got some shadow boxes, that I'm, I've got some projects planned for that. This will be used for fairy gardens, so I've got that planned as well. Um, that's my UV resin <coughs> cure thing, sorry. And these are just some projects that I've done. Again here, some projects that I've previously worked on and some more jars and things that I can fill. I really like jar crafts as you can tell. Um, some sand, a few more things that I fill up, teacup crafts, things like that. Here's a gravel, I've got some soil, um, sand, just you know, bits and bobs like that as well. And then all of this is basically my organised craft things. So as you can see, all of these are empty, which will, won't be empty very soon. I've got um, a craft package that is soon to arrive. Um, so I'll start off from here. I've just got all of sort of, I call this tools. So I've got some wire, tweezers, um, just bits and bobs really. I don't want to make this video too long so I'm just going to quickly go through. These are just some um, random things. So I've got string, um, sandpaper, things like that. These are empty as well. Um, and this is where it really starts. So I've got paintbrushes, canvases, watercolour paper in here, yeah just all kinds of paintbrushes, paint sponges, these are all spray paints, puffy paints, ink, stain paints, all this kind of stuff, so all of these are my puffy paints, all of these are like ink um, for making your own, like designing mugs and things like that. And this is ink at the back, got some glow in the dark paint there. Um, watercolour paint, ready made paint, spirit, glitter paint, acrylic paint, stationery. Scissors, tape, that kind of thing in this drawer. Um, gels. I use this for fake water, artificial water for, for some projects that the lids are closed on. This gets quite high up here, but I've got my epoxy resin in there. Glues in there. I'm going to need to get a little step for this one because, as you can see, it kind of, it's a lot taller so I kind of fit up to there and then I can't reach there. 
um, a few of my projects up there. This is one of my favourite crafts, um, resin, UV resin. So I've got all of the things that I put inside for decoration. I've got my moulds, safety equipment and all my types of UV resin. And just things that I like to put in the UV resin. And this is also one of my favourites, um, jewellery making. So a lot of the embellishments and a lot of the UV resin projects I turn into um, jewellery. So like earrings, rings, necklaces. And these also go into my UV resin when I cure them. Um, what is these? Stones, gems, this kind of thing. So I use a lot of these for teacup art and some of these for terrariums. This is really nice for decorations, like decorating teacups and things like that. And stones, these actually glow in the dark so I've got a project that I need to do for that. And these are just good for fairy gardens, terrariums, um, zen gardens. So this all of this organising will hopefully help me to make more projects and just some more stones. All of these are like um, coloured crushed little stones and sand. Again, I use these for kind of like decorating jars and my teacup um, crafts as well. And these are like flowers. Um, pot potpourri, um, they smell really nice, but generally they're for decorating lids of jars, teacup art, and sometimes terrariums as well. And these are all of my lights, so I've got um, things for Halloween, I've got things for Valentine's Day, Christmas sort of lights, and then I've got all of the different types of artificial snow, spray snow, um, yeah, and then we will go up to these last columns. Um, this is literally just a mix. That's why I've called it other. So I've just got um some like magnet sheets, foam pads, starch spray, and that isn't rubbish. I'm planning to turn that into a squishy. And this is my Halloween um drawer. So this is all got things that I am working on or going to work on and my Easter drawer this was left over from last year Christmas drawer is pretty bare <laughs> and he's missing a head because I've used his head on one of my last projects which was a ghost uh, terrarium this is one of my favourite crafts as well creating artificial terrariums um, you can see miniature trees, moss, all of this is artificial, miniature trees, fences, these are really good for fairy gardens as well, and moss, um, all kinds of moss, so I've got diorama, um, sort of artificial grass, I use these for artificial terrariums too, artificial grass as well there. And then this is real moss and carbon, um, activated carbon, that's um, for terrariums to keep your terrariums fresh and help against moulding. And artificial plants, so I've got some leaves, I've, you've probably seen some of this in other projects that I've done. And got a lot of uses for, um, again, you know, just creating artificial terrariums and things using greenery and some more artificial things here I've got artificial grass mats, artificial succulents and air plants artificial just uh, plants that I used I used this in my miniature terrarium magnet so that's done already but I will still use that and I use some of these in my artificial fish tank um, project that I've done already and I've also used that in one of my projects, but 
loads of uses absolutely love these drawers here um and animals all of these are sort of figurines to put in terrariums and, um, dinosaurs i've got sea creatures um all sorts of things in there um and then another mix of sort of things so i've got characters in here and i've got some projects signed up for these guys all of these are pokemons then i've got big animals in there um yeah just kind of transport things so i've got bolts in here as well buildings and cups so these are going to be for um this for example could be for uh, a zen garden um and it features a waterfall i only got it for like five pounds from b&m so really good prices and these i get from the charity shop and i put them in jars i think i've got an example to show you here you can see it's got the house and lake so that's kind of used for um jar crafts terrariums these are my fairy drawers so i've got fairy doors um, little fairies And this is for all my squishies um, makeovers I'm going to be doing. And here is clay. And then these I'll be turning into jewellery, stencils, stickers, crafts for um, paper crafts. So I've got card and things. Um, embellishment, charms and buttons here. I've did a haul on these, I've got a video out on all of that and where I brought it from, how much it was and then these are just general things like kids craft stuff so that's it really um, here I've just got some uh, empty jars, my kind of squishy collection and here are some things I've made this terrarium I've never opened or taken care of and as you can see it's growing and it's still green and lush and some other projects down there and then the rest is for the cats this is where I work editing and these are still empty, so I've got that to use, and yep, yeah, that's everything so far. I'm still working on the room, so we'll see. I might have to kind of move that stuff there and get some more shelves in, but for now I've got quite a few empty ones, so I think I should be okay. But I'm quite happy with that. It's, I mean, I wish I can organise this stuff, but obviously they're heavy and they don't fit into the drawers. But I'm really excited to work and do my next craft because it's a lot easier to access and tidy. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Bye.